naturally, normally charges are added to the IATA um, ticketing system, whereby people pay for whatever the government puts in there, then the travel agent through IATA will pay back the government or the authority responsible. But in this case, I think it has taken away Gambia's competitive advantage. Competitive advantage in the sense that we are right next door to an airport called um, Bless Jang International Airport at Jazz. It's basically literally little less than halfway between Dakar and Banjul. So now we can say that the new airport favors people traveling outside of Gambia. So what that does, it takes away air traffic from our airport and that will literally make Gambia a secondary airport and make Senegal a primary airport in the long run. If you know, the advice is to the Ministry of Works, the Ministry of Finance, and by extension, the government of the Gambia, for the simple fact that um, a country like Gambia, people always say size is an advantage, but equally size is a disadvantage. The disadvantage with size in the Gambia is our air traffic volume is limited. And because of our limited air traffic volume, we have few carriers coming into Gambia. Also, the cost of coming to Gambia is literally expensive. So Gambia is not on the map as it relates to aviation. So adding taxes, creating more hurdles, makes Gambia a closed destination rather than an open destination.